Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Now, today's review is on this. Uh, I'll go into detail in a minute, but the reason I bought it is recently I've done a few 3D printing videos, um, one on a, a different bed, magnetic bed, one on upgrading the fans and uh, installing the latest firmware, stuff like that. And I'm going to be doing a video very, very soon on just what you can print on a 3D printer. Just a generic video showing people all the stuff from useful things to puzzles to moving type objects to lamps to figurines. Just the sort of things you can print on any 3D printer. And I'll be just going through some of the many, many items I've printed on it. Now, a lot of them items are things like this sort of superhero figurines which i'm sort of like quite into so there's that one on the hellboy there's uh, iron man here and the hulk like i say on that video i'll be going into much more detail on them but i thought when i'm doing that it'd be quite a good idea to have them in one of them proper little portable studios that give a nice white background instead of me trying to find an area here in the shed or the dining room or whatever that's clutter free and it's got a nice uniform background you can get these little portable studios which i'll be showing you shortly and i've also bought a little turntable so it can be sort of like the object turning round and i'll show you that so that's the reason that i bought this now it's just arrived today the little turntable came a couple of days ago i'll show you that shortly not fantastic quality um i'll show you where i got it in a minute and uh, the price and that it does the job basically but it's, it's not great constructed but this looks according to the, uh, the reviews i've read so far and some of the online their pictures looked a lot better so it's just arrived this morning and i've yet to unbox it so whatever's in here i've taken it out of its um plastic plastic wrapper only but that's what it is that's what this is review is on and i'll let you read the back so you can freeze this frame i like the way it says um number of beads meaning leds so uh, there's 112 leds in a ring at the top but like i said if you want to freeze freeze that frame you can read through the thing so let's uh, take it out the box and the box opens like that got in here there's nothing else in there so it comes in a nice sort of canvas bag with a little uh, handle on the top can go around now like Roy Cropper on Coronation Street it's a UK soap opera and everything inside is Look. some uh, instructions tell you what to do again if you want to have a sort of freeze the frame so you can get it in focus Um, what else is in here? A little uh, certificate. And so these are your backdrops. So you've got like a, a flesh coloured one, white one, black one, a green one and a blue one and it's like um 
plastic. This it's not paper. I did notice on some of them it was uh, it's a paper. It's like a plastic sheet. So there are the backdrops you, you pick, and then I'm presuming that's the base. So yeah, first look. Because this is the first time I've seen it. It looks as uh, very nicely made. Um, it's, uh, looks well stitched together. It's just a standard USB thing there. You don't get a USB wall plug, but I've got plenty of them and I'm sure everybody has got a drawer full of them. So you just plug it in any standard 5, 5.4 volt USB. You've got your controls here. Again, I'll show you once I've read the instructions myself what these do. And you pop it open and you can see the ring of LED lights in the top there. I've got quite a long flex tied up there. That's on the end of that, so I'll just undo that now. So once that's undone, that gives you a good, good length there, and we've got the same sort of length on there, so plenty long enough to reach the distance socket. And on the top here, we've got a flap, and that's where you can insert your camera through to take vertical shots. So. Let's have a look. That's that's gonna actually be the back. So once that is in, once you pop that in, like that, that keeps it in a square format, and as you can see, it's like a reflective booze. Then you'll be able to uh, drape your things in there. So like I said, I'm gonna have a quick read of the instructions now. Set it up. And then take a picture of some of these models rotating round. And um, yeah, like I say, it's um, quite impressed. It's, it looks very, very nicely made. So that's that. anything you need to know. Once I've read the instructions, like I say, I'll go over. But this is the turntable. Now, like I said, I have already tried this out and it comes packed with a bit of um, protective foam on the on the spindle drive there but it is very very cheap construction I'll first of all let's have a look now let's have a quick look on Amazon where I bought this one from so this is the thing that I'm just going to show you shortly it's a little turntable and it's solar powered so it will run off the light that's in that portable studio light box or daylight or whatever I presume it's designed basically for like jewelers windows that have got a powerful white light shining on on the jewelry and this can rotate like the watch or, or whatever the, uh, the, the little items of jewelry are showing and like I say, it was only seven pound nineteen. So, yeah, you get what you pay for. It's uh, it's quite tacky plastic, but the portable studio, which, like I say, I'll be showing you in action soon, is this one. Now, this is it on Amazon, but as you can see on Amazon, which I usually prefer, I try and buy everything on Amazon. But I will resort to eBay if there's a massive saving. If it's only a couple of quid, I uh, I don't like. I only use eBay if necessary due to the, the way they've treated me in the, in the past as a as a as a seller. I don't sell anything on eBay now, and uh, very reluctantly buy anything from it. But as you can see on Amazon, there it's thirty six ninety nine, whereas on eBay, it's a full ten pounds cheaper, and this was the seller I got it off. And I clicked to make an offer 
and I offered £23.95, expecting him to come back with a, a counter off of like 24 or 25.95. But he accepted the 23. So you can see up here in the green band here, you won this item for 23.95. So I saved myself 13 quid on top of um, Amazon's price. Now, okay, I would have got the Amazon one within one day next day after order this this one took five days i ordered it on the first and it's uh, it's now the 6th of may so it took five days to come but i was prepared to do that to save 13 quid and uh, there, was, there was no problem with that purchase so yeah this turntable now it's it's quite clever how it works um, there is a battery here battery compartment I'll show you it working first, just under solar power. So you can see there's no battery in it whatsoever now. And it's not quite bright enough in here yet, but I'm hoping just the bright white LEDs in the photo booth will set this off. If I, it's very hard to... I'll put a bit of tape on it. Right, I've put a bit of tape on the turntable. And like I say, just to prove to you still, there is no battery in it. And if I shine a torch on it, you should see you can see you can see it moving round. It's a very slow rotation, which is what you want. The brighter the light, the faster. It rotates and it's got solar panels on all four sides as you can see but um, yeah it's still going now I'm holding it nearer me uh, me white light it's slowing right down now yeah but when I put the torch on it see it moving around I must remember when I'm recording these videos to turn me air freshener off that was the noise you just heard kicks in every half hour or so so yeah if you want now it has got LEDs in it this again I'll show it you later in action with a glass on it or something and it's quite effective the LEDs if it's a see-through object you you're filming the the light travels up through the glass but to get the LEDs, obviously, you need a battery. So if I put a battery in here now, so we've got a battery in it now. And this time, so that just pushes on the, the spindle there. If we flick that switch, don't know whether you can see, You got these LEDs and it turns, it would turn even in the dark. You can see it turning now and a bit faster than before because it's now battery powered and these LEDs are changing colour. Now they're not coloured LEDs, I suspect it looks very much like a coloured wheel under there. I think they're just bog standard white LEDs with uh, a wheel over that rotates around with different colors that it shines through but reasonably effective got some green to blue to uh yellowy sort of like and there's a, a red in there as well but again we'll see that more effectively soon but yeah it's it's really brittle brittle cheap plastic you can tell it's not going to take hardly any weight at all it'll be fine for the for what i want it for but anything heavy i would suspect it's not going to last too long and it's not going to take the knocks again if you're using it moving it around a lot i'll be just keeping it in here and there won't be many videos i do that i'll be using it on so hopefully it'll serve its purpose and if i treat it with kid gloves It'll be okay, but there's plenty more turntables on uh, Amazon for a bit, more, a bit or a lot more money 
which I presume are much, much more robust and can take the knocks. But yeah, if you just want something to basically do the job with LEDs, battery or solar, for seven quid, it's uh, it's okay. But yeah, not so greatly built. But the thing behind me, because it does seem very well. So I'm going to set it up now. I'm going to use the camera that I'm using now, my Canon M50, to film it. The reason I sort of bought this is, again, when I'm holding things up to here, this is the light I use. So excuse this. Just unplug this. Now this is the light I use to illuminate me when I'm doing these videos, and that sits on top of the camera. It's got the hot shoe attachment there, and as you can see, now I didn't do. I didn't do a review of this uh, escape the thing. If you'd like me to do one, leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll show you what it is and how much it was. And and uh, it's quite good. You can, um, so I'm not going to do a full review of it now, but you can increase the intensity of it and the colour temperature as well. And you can go from just vaguely on, off and go from white light to a light and it tells you on the back what colour temperature you're at and what light intensity you're at so I'll put this back in its spot now okay so I've just finished about half an hour of filming some models rotating round on the turntable with and without the LED lights on and showing you it without and with the battery that it does work off the solar power from these LEDs and uh, I also learned that I said earlier on all the backdrop sheets were plastic well they're not the the black the white and the flesh colored ones are they're quite a thick plastic but the blue the red and the green are paper. Again, it's quite a, a thickish paper, and I think if you handle it reasonably carefully, it shouldn't tear. But it, bear in mind, it is paper on them three colours. Not they're not all plastic, as I said earlier. Now, on the back of each one, be it paper or plastic, you've got these Velcro pads, and they stick in the top corner here of if you can see it on this one here top corner here one each side of the booth and then it just drapes down like that and across the bottom and of course i had the this back piece in the wrong way around before there's a tab on the bottom here that you just pull it to recollapse it down and it's got the two velcro pads on the top there so another thing I found out was the LED lights you can see there you can either have, you can have them on at any intensity and it'll matter more to professional photographers uh, which I'm certainly not but you can increase the intensity of them um, when I tried it with my camera mainly set on automatic it doesn't seem to make much difference whether they're on full or they're on low, as long as there's some light there, I got reasonable pictures and videos. But uh, the option is there, you can set the brightness. You can also set, if you have a look carefully, or you can see it, there are two rings, an inner ring and an outer ring. So you can put a switch here, use this switch here in the middle, and as you can see, it's just the inner ring on now. And if I press it, again it's just the outer ring and if I press it again it's both rings and like I say it didn't really seem to make much difference whether it was just one or two rings but uh, like I said the, the option is there should you want to do it and it goes right up to as you can see very bright there it's really really bright right down to Sorry, I was pressing the middle button right down to low. So that's low with both rings on. 
and low with just one ring on. So uh, that's it. So yeah, like I say, the this I'm pretty pleased with it. It looks very nicely made. It would have been nice if these were covered in some sort of diff diffuser. These LEDs instead of just bare LEDs. It'd be nice if there was some diffusing thing. You may want to add your own little bit of masking tape or something. Because as you'll see in some of the photos that I've taken, you can see if it's a reflective item you've got placed here, you can see them LEDs reflecting in it. So a diffused light would have been better. But I did use this hole at the top and put my camera lens there. Again, it's just my Canon M50. It's nothing top professional and I'm not a top professional photographer but i got some reasonable results and i tried some different colored backgrounds and uh, and stuff like that so uh, we'll have a look at them shortly in any minute now something else i found about this like i said I suspected it's not the best of construction far from it and it's only capable really of turning with very low weights on it when I tried it with the two glasses, I tried it with a couple of glasses, a wine glass and a tumbler with water in it. And the tumbler was quite a thick walled glass and I put water in it to try and show off the LEDs. And when it's got that extra weight, even with the battery in it, it, it tends to sort of like move halfway and then halfway back. It seems to struggle to move all the way around. As soon as you take that weight off it, it moves all the way around so uh, yeah the gears and the motor it's a tiny obviously a really 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 weak motor to be able to just run on its own off the solar cells so that there's no real strength in it so for very lightweight objects only if you're going to use a turntable more often or if i was going to use one more often i'd definitely go for a, a better one than this but like i say it's going to do the tricks on the little figurines which is what i bought it for and Another thing, when you put the battery in, the switch is just for the LEDs. Once the battery is in, it's moving all the time. There is no on-off switch as such. If you put it in sunlight, it will start turning. If you put a battery in, it will start turning. And if you flick the switch when the battery's in, you'll get the LEDs as well. But you can't turn the whole thing off. Um, again, no real need, because as soon as you put it in a dark drawer and it's not getting any light with no battery in it, it, it will not be turning so uh, that's that so let's have a look now at some of them videos and photographs i've uh, i've just taken okay so these are the videos with a camera positioned at the front looking through the the opening iron man obviously on a red background with the lights of the booth on uh, there's no leds on the turntable none needed for this and uh, it's quite effective now this is uh, hellboy and he's quite tall so you can see it's not really suitable because you do get the lights in shot at the top and being a heavy object as well you can see the turntable is struggling it's stopped there and it'll start going back the other way now which it does when it's uh, again you'll see here when it's a heavy object but it's very hard not getting the lights in shot when you've got something so tall so uh, that's really at the limit of the booth it's much better on shorter objects than this and here's the hulk it's a bit shorter so it's easy to position and a green background looks good i think um very even background as well my daughter paints all these and uh, it intrigued me why she painted the belt purple as well i thought the belt should have been black but no if you look at all the pictures of the hulk his belt is always purple just like his trousers are as well um, this is a much more suitable subject because it's lower down. It's another Iron Man, but uh, they call this the uh, the landing version, I think, because it's, it's just landed and smashed the ground. But again, on that red background, I think it looks quite good. And being a much shorter object, you can you can get them lights right out of the way. You can see pan back there, the lights aren't even in shot really there, so. Uh, a lot of better on the shorter objects and again the same object but against a black background picking up a bit more reflections in the, there but still it's quite good but i think i prefer it in the red with the red backdrop on it and this is the uh, the glass 
again not not too much light getting through because it's a bit narrow at the bottom that but you can see we've been so heavy it's doing the same thing it's stopping you'll see it coming to a stop now in that direction and then starting in the opposite direction because the little tiny motor and gears just can't cope with something of that weight and here's a, a very lightweight vase 3d printed vase from a translucent purple and there's no lights on in the booth whatsoever now it's just the lights on the turntable the leds you can see they're quite effective that lights from the room now they saw the lights on in the booth this time and uh, again looks uh, quite effective i think so here's a few stills i took this is a playstation 4 controller obviously a black item against the black backdrop so this is a black plastic backdrop with the lights on you can see it's quite uniform with hardly any shadows but uh, if it's a black object it's sometimes better putting it against a white background like that so this is the white plastic background in place again i can't remember whether it's both rows of leds or one but uh, the intensity doesn't seem to make too much difference that's an xbox 360 early white controller against a blue background again hardly any shadows you can see the lighting is quite uniform this is Groot, an adult Groot, printed on the uh, 3D printer and painted myself. And again, on a white background, it looks quite effective. Now, this is what I mean by the LEDs showing up. If they were diffused, it'd be a bit better, but you can see the individual LEDs reflective if your item, like this kind of Diet Coke, is very reflective. And also this Osmo action, you can see... If you position it wrongly you will pick up all those individual leds but just tilting it up at the front just holding it there getting it out of the reflection uh, looks a lot better and that flesh colored that's the flesh colored background again so the overall background line is quite effective and that's uh, the camera zoomed in it's a different photo it's not it's not zoomed in on that i've not just cropped that other photo that is the camera zoomed in to uh, to capture that you can see the background looks quite smooth you can still see the lights reflected in the lens but that's that's it without any lights in the box it's placed in the box on the flesh colored background but the only lights are what's coming through the top and the front from the lights in the shed the normal lights so you can see how horrible that looks and finally it's just a sheet of instructions a sheet of white paper so a non-reflective item just put in there so quite good for photographing documents i know you'd normally do it on your, your scanner on your printer but uh, you can see the overall light when it's non-reflective is uh, is pretty effective so there you have it um they turned out reasonably okay then photos and uh, and videos and like I say, I'm better than just trying to line it up against the wall and put a blanket up against the wall and, and trying to get the light right. The light above is quite effective as long as, like I say, it's not too reflective an item that you're taking and then it will pick up and things. But if you position it right, like you saw when I was taking the DJI Osmo, if you just tilt the reflective bit out of that light, you can get a reasonable picture. And the different coloured backdrops are quite effective depending on what you're uh, taking a picture of. If you're taking a picture of a like the black PlayStation controller, um, a white background looks quite good. And if it's the white um, Xbox controller, a black background is, is quite good. So, uh, yeah. So you get them three backgrounds, three of them plastic, three of them paper, two rolls of LEDs, both on, inner on, outer on varying intensities and it's uh, really really well made actually it's a uh, construction is pretty good turntable not so much but okay so hopefully it's been of some use if you're thinking of uh, taking a few uh, stills pictures or video pictures it is a, a worthwhile addition addition i did find i couldn't do it on the worktop here i did it on the floor i needed to sort that stand a bit further back i have too much stuff on my work up here i've got the pc here and uh, clutter around so i haven't got the workspace to do it in me in my man shed here but uh, a table a dining room table a kitchen worktop the floor 
and uh, it's quite a quick and easy setup. So yeah, um, quite pleased with the photo booth thing. Not so much with the turntable, but like I say, it's okay. And I hope this has been of some use if you're thinking of doing the same thing. So keep an eye out for that video that I'll be doing that I bought these two items for on everything you can print. Not everything, but tons and tons of different items you can print on a 3D printer. That'll be coming up very, very soon. If you want to subscribe, please do. And please click the icon of the man shed here. And I'll catch you for the next review very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.